Okay, excellent. Welcome to another session. Starting off then, feet under our knees, knees under our hips. Pick up the ribs, shoulders back, chin tucked in. Weight even over the feet. Okay, so you're coming out from that kind of slouch. And just into that nice upright position. A little bit of tension on the tummy muscles, but not too much, not in the army today. Good, nice and easy. Just gently rocking forward and back through the heels and toes. Good, and then just find that point in the middle. And when you're holding there, a nice big deep breath in. Slowly out. And again, nice breath in. Think of it as you draw in that breath, tensing all the spinal muscles, looking up to the ceiling on the out breath, relaxing them down, again from the side, here's your start position, that breath in, tensing up, breath out, relaxing down. Breathe into that upright posture. Breathe out, look over the shoulder. Breathe into the middle. Breathe out, opposite side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing out, look to the side. Breathing into the middle, holding. On the out breath this time, tilt the ear to the shoulder. Breathe into the middle. Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathe out. As always, with all these movements, just going to where you feel comfortable and in control, you're not forcing anything, you're not avoiding any movements either. Into the middle, how to move. Breathe into the middle, how to move. Into the middle, and out and relaxing there. So moving on from neck movements into the shoulders. When you're breathing in, you're gonna raise the shoulders up. Breathing out, relaxing down. Breathing in. Breathing out. Keep on the side, come to that relaxed position. Yeah, carrying on the arms. Deep breath in as you lift. Breathe out, relaxing. Again, that soft, relaxed position, breath in.
Did last one. And now. Good stuff. All right, going into the trunk a little bit more. So side to side, first of all, breath in, breathe out, reach down, breathe into the middle, breathe out, reaching down, breathing in, breathing out. Good, come out of the arm in, you can. So breathe out, reach to the side, breathe into the middle, breathe out, reach over, breathe in, breathe out, breathing in, breathing out. Good, breathing into the middle. Breathe out as you reach over, hold that position. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe into the middle. Breathe out, reach over. Breathe in as you hold. Breathe out. Breathe into the middle. Breathe out and relax. Good. Remember, if you get a bit lightheaded from all the breath work, then just slow it down. Take some shallower breaths. If you're feeling quite comfortable with the deep breathing, good, good for the kind of overall breath down regulation. So we're going into our rotations. Okay, so it's the breath in to prepare. Breathing out, reach round. Big rotation through this trunk. Breathe into the middle. Getting that tension into that erect, uh, upright position and breathe out. Breathing in. Big erector spiny muscles on the back active. And as you breathe out, and then relax and rotate. Breathe in. Breathing out. Still coming from the side, that in breath. Out, relaxing round. Middle. Last time to the side. Breathing in. Breathing out and relaxing there. Good. Moving down a little bit of light leg work. If you want to do some resistance work. So nice and simple, just allowing the knees to bend and return. And turn, fantastic, up and down on the tiptoes. And turn there, good. So, you can bring your weights in. That one's older. <clears throat> so we're going to do a bit of a, a extended melee. So we're going to do sort of one set of exercise, but on lots of different sort of body movements. The last session was sort of four exercises, two sets. This one will be more exercises. Okay. For the lower limb ones, 25 is your top range, but anywhere in between. And when you're ready, then we're just going to start with the feet, so up and down on the tiptoes. 
ne napravi će, ne? Aj. Bene, in breve questo è finito. Senti. Okay, up to the top, gonna curl the arms up and reach overhead. So, shoulder presses, again 20 is your top range. When you're ready, off you go. It's a lift, on down. So curl and press, up to 20. Last one. Oh, Twenty there, yeah, good. Okay, back in on the legs then. So into our normal squats. Feet just on the shoulder width. Up to 25, when you're ready, up and down. How deep you go each side. How many you do, same. It's a 10. Thing. That's five. And second five there. Good. Remember, always work to your own ability to rest. Absolutely fine. So, side raises up to 20. When you're ready, arms coming out, shoulder height, and return. Five. Fifteen. Rest, rest. Rest. Okay, good. Back in with the legs this time, take a wider stance. Okay, 
And then we're going to just going to be taking the weight over to one side. We'll do up to 10 on one side. And then similarly on the other. Five. Ten now, uh, good. And the opposite. And there we go. Okay. Feet back in. And back through into the upper body. So we're going to be bringing the arms in front. Again, up to 20 for the arms. When you're ready, raising the arms forward. And then return and from this position, like so. Ten. Fifteen. There yeah, good. All right, we'll do some whole trunk. So feet a bit wider, knees a bit softer. When you're ready, then just rolling the weights towards the floor. So you're curling down. Building back up. Okay, so you're coming from that side position, upright posture to start, and as you roll down. Afraid to bend the spine, building up that resilience. I'm confident in the spine and how it moves. About five, aiming for five more. Yes, deep and shallow with the flexion as you want to. Two. Last one. Get some stuff. Okay, we'll pop one more up. Wait away. We'll do our side bends. Okay, then deep in a good position. We're just going to reach to the side, travel through, and across. Repeat. Up to 15, and repeat on the other side.
then as well. So, let me switch inside. Then, going through up to 15. Mm -hmm. Ten. <clears throat> last one. And, uh, excellent. So nice one for movement warm up. Nice functional exercise from there. You ready? I'm going to go down onto the mats into your kneeling position. <clears throat> into that familiar position now, hands under shoulders, knees are under the hips. Okay. Nice and strong the arms, so we're not softening into press ups as we roll forward and back from the pelvis. Start with the head just in a neutral position, just bring your attention to the pelvis and the lower spine. And each time you roll back, just take your ribs a little bit higher. Bring your head in your next, ask the fire suit. To get that full range now, nice big arch and hollow of the spine. And this time, as you just relax back into that neutral position, slide your hands slightly forward, lower your bottom towards your feet. Holding that prayer pose. A couple of nice deep breaths. Feel the back of the ribs expanding. Stretching around the shoulders. The new starting position there. <clears throat> Familiar with that leg kick behind you, so you've got the space and slide the foot away and return. Opposite and return. From there, you're going to push the leg out straight. As you hold, you're going to take the foot to the side, back in, and down. The opposite, so you extend the leg, hold, take the foot out to the side, back in and down. Just switch positions briefly. The kick back, 
it comes out to the side, in and down, kick the mass and kick behind to the side, like that. You feel that engagement of the muscles in your bottom. Again, always working at your ability. Rest if you need to rest. And as you finish the one you're on there, relax, bring hands under shoulders, knees under hips, back through that mobility, rolling forward and back. Yes. And again, hands forward, drop them down towards your feet. Your tension now in the lower back and your bottom where you've been working. Just trying to loosen that up. Okay. <clears throat> Resting on your tummy. Gonna bring that attention onto the lower trunk. So start with your arms to the side, squeeze your bottom, raise the trunk, and down. Just feeling muscles of the back, back extensors working. Remember, you can push a pillow underneath your tummy if it's as a position you're not too comfortable lying on your front. Good. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, as you raise up, bring the hands up to the shoulders, sit them back. And down. So just adjusting that upper body weight. So it's a lift as you're holding hands up, back, and down. If you feel you can challenge it a bit more, same lift, reach all the way out overhead, back, and then down. Your level one is just a lift and lower. Level two, lift, hands to sort of head height. Level three, hands extending overhead, and down. Last one, whichever level you're on. Down and relaxing there. Good. Hands under the shoulders. 
back into your kneeling position. Going forward and back. Stretch it down. Okay, up from there, round on to your side. <clears throat> okay, so in that clam position, make sure you've got enough space, stretch your legs in a moment. So clams first of all, and then feet on the floor. Open and close the knees up to 20 times. Okay, remember you have charge of this, you decide how many you're going to do. Good. Okay. I'm just going to stretch that top leg out. Okay. I'm going to do up to 10 lifts as a kind of in between the next exercise. If you want to just rest, that's absolutely fine. So lift and lower, going up to 10. Two's enough, four's enough. You decide. Then, good, okay, back in then on that position. Same start position, but you're gonna raise the whole leg up and down like so, foot comes away this time, again, up to 20. You decide the number you're gonna work on. Try. And before. And twenty. Good. So again, take a pause. So now those muscles to settle. If you're feeling quite confident in your muscles or your bottom, want to challenge it a bit more. Again, just straighten that top leg out up to 10 lifts. If you're struggling or need a rest, just take a rest, absolutely fine. There, good. So you should be feeling all your muscles in your bottom working strong. Again, if you want to rest them out, sit it out, it's absolutely fine. The last exercise, feet come up off the floor. 
as you hover there again, up to 20 repetitions, so open and closing the knee. So, okay, so let's switch it over. In that clown position to start, so that's the feet together. When you're ready, again, up to 20 repetitions, whatever you do, you're in control. Open and close the knee. And twenty, good as before. You feel comfortable to challenge it, leg extended up to ten lifts. You want to rest, just take the rest, take five. Maybe we're back in and recovering. So, <clears throat> next one is the whole leg lifting, but in that bent knee start position, then up to 20. So, when you're ready, you're down. And twenty, it's again like before, you feel you can manage it at the extended leg. If you need to rest, just take the rest. Going back in in a moment. Um, fantastic, good. Okay, last position then, back in with those bent knees, feet come up off the floor, and it's open and closing, up to 20. Always work at your ability. Yeah. 
Take yourself around onto your backs then. <clears throat> so setting yourself in in that last position. So just knees rolling side to side. Like a little clicking or popping as a release of the pressure in the joints, the gas that's in the joints. It's just back in and holding the middle there. <clears throat> okay, a little bit of hip control to start. I'm just going to draw the knee up, draw circles on the ceiling. So five circles. And down on the opposite side. Imagine a halo sitting above your knee, just tracing around that halo. Down. Five and down. Good. So if you want to make that more challenging, so you can always carry on that level, but if you want to make it harder, one knee up, both knees up. So as you hold that position, one knee rotates in the circles, up to five if you can manage it. If you need to do a few less, that's absolutely fine. Obviously now you've got the weight of the legs that you're holding in the air, your tummy's working strong. Muscles in the front of your hip are working strong. If you need to come down, reset, that's fine. If you can stay up there, that's okay too. Keep going. And then if you're struggling, just stop, reset. You feel this is okay, you can challenge it a bit more. You bring your shoulders up and support the head if you need to as you hold that position, carrying on. The opposite. Five and fives. As you come in, last set, take hold of the knees, bring the knees into your chest, relax the upper body down, relaxing the legs down. Stretch the legs away. Some nice deep breaths. And yeah. Excuse me. Just draw back into your start position. Coming in with those tummy muscles. Okay. okay, nice, easy. Glide the hands up. Controlling back. Remember, just open that chin, eyes pointing at the ceiling. If you find yourself staring at your knees, it's probably because you've got your chin tucked in 
Okay, keep it. Nice and open. Keep struggling, neck muscles are getting tired. You can support the weight of the head. Good. Okay, we can. We can make it a little bit more challenging. One knee in the air, both knees in the air. And coming up and down. Okay, you just take a pause there, just take the weight to the knees, if you've got them in the air, just hug your knees to your chest. Maybe one last bit of strength work on those tummy muscles, okay. So positionally, you've got two options. Option number one, just bring your shoulders off, arms are extended, and you pump in the arms like so. And the aim is to count up to 100, okay. Option two, a bit more challenging, knees are off, shoulders are off, arms extended. Okay, so option one, feet are on the floor. Option two, feet are in the air. You choose. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Don't crash to the floor, take hold of the knees, knees to the chest, shoulders down, relax the head, relax the neck, relax the legs, knees roll side to side, nice and gently. Good, and this time just take them over to one side and then hold them there. Keep your shoulders firmly grounded. So switch sides. Okay, back into the middle, bring the right foot over the left knee, and reaching through, pick up the left leg, can't quite grasp the leg, and just take hold of the knee and the ankle, draw it in like so. Relax and switch sides. So some of the right foot over the left knee, reach through, bring up that. Put that the way down there. Left foot over the right knee, reach through, bring up the right leg. Good. As you relax, come into a sitting position. One leg out, one leg in, reaching down to the outstretched leg.
Okay, switching sides. Yeah, into kneeling position. <clears throat> Roll forward and back. Move the hands forward, sink the bottom back. So, hands to your knees, bring your head up above your chest, and then be ready to ease yourself onto your feet. <clears throat> okay, so, side to side. Do a little rotations round one way. That was it. As long as your head feels okay, you're not feeling lightheaded, take a breath in. My out breath rolling down. And as you finish, feet on the knees, knees under hips, pick up the ribs, shoulders back, chin tucked in, weight even over the feet. Nice breath in. And now to finish. Excellent stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>